And take note of this as we look at this live picture right now we are experiencing yellow air quality. That means the air might be harsh for people with respiratory problems. And according to a new study, thousands of 4th of July fireworks celebrations will soon be adding to this air pollution. The new study by federal scientists says the exploding fireworks send tiny particles into the air. Scott Logan has a closer look at this study. Oh, say can you see or smell the smoke and haze from fireworks on the 4th of July? Absolutely, say people we talk to. It bothers me with my kids. Like, I don't, I personally, I don't buy fireworks and I don't let them play with the, um, because I don't want them breathing it. I have, yeah. I don't really mind it so much. Reminds me it's the 4th of July. In fact, air quality experts say on the evening of the 4th of July, the levels of particulate matter, or pollutants, can rise as much as 30 or 40 percent. The exploding fireworks unleash tiny particles of dust, smoke, and soot into the air. With the PM 2.5, it means 2.5 microns, which is smaller than a piece of your hair, a piece of human hair. So the smaller it is, the further down into your respiratory system it can get. The Idaho Department of Environmental Quality has studied the impact of fireworks in the Treasure Valley for years, but this report from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, is said to be the first comprehensive national survey ever. It's not intended to dampen the celebration, but to remind people in sensitive groups to limit their exposure. That would be children, the elderly, and anybody with a pre-existing health condition. The study also says while the air is bad the evening of the 4th, particulate levels drop back down by noon on July 5th. Scott Logan, KBOI News, Boise.